News' Fred Burgess joins us today to preview the Hooping for a Cause event. Fred, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Of course, of course. Well, tell us a little bit about this event. Well, this event uh, was about, um, I worked for Reserve Deputy for the Sheriff's Office, and we was in roll call one day, and, and uh, Corporal Robinson say, hey, I want to have an event to try to bridge the community back with the first responder. And I say, cool. I say, we can have it at the Charles Haywood Center. So we got together, you know, and we started putting this event together to have um, this event to bridge the gap between the community and the law enforcement. And now this event is for, uh, you know, kids too, right? Yeah. And so mm -hmm. giving them something to do, uh, learning how to play basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the purpose of it, like you said, is, you know, bridging that gap between community and first responders. Why is that so important for our youth to see? Well, half the time when, when uh, police goes in the community, they're going on a call. So half the time when they ride through the community, they, nobody wants to talk to the law enforcement officer. So what we want to do, we want to have an event where to give the community the opportunity to come in and play against the law enforcement. We're going to have APD, we're going to have the sheriff's office, we're going to have the fire department. So I think it'd be a good event to bridge the gap when the community come in and play against the law enforcement so we can bridge that gap and trust again with the law enforcement. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm sure there's no competition whatsoever between police departments, fire departments, none of that, right? <laughs> no, there won't be no competition. It's just going to be right. an all fun game for yes. eight weeks. You know what I'm saying? We just want the kids to come out. And plus, I'm going to have my style of riding kids playing against the police officer. So it's going to be real good to see, you know, going up and down the court, you know, having fun. Oh, the kids are going to love that. Yeah. How do you get your kids signed up for this? Well, get a sign up, uh, Dasha Robinson. You can contact her at 445-8084. Okay. Uh, she didn't want to sign the kids up for this organization. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, I'm on the sign of my kids up to play against the uh, shelves off of APD and fire department. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. And it's really not just a, a one-day event. This is like a season that y'all are going to do starting this Saturday, right? Yeah. It's going to be an eight-week event. We're going to start March the 4th. It's going to end April 22nd. Okay, and so you're going to have this every Saturday? Every Saturday. At 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. Okay, Charles Haywood Center? Charles Haywood Center. Okay, so if people want to come and watch, uh, will there be an admission fee, anything like that? Yes, it's going to be a $3 admission fee at the door if you okay. want to come in and watch. And we're going to take this money at the end of the season, and we're going to put it in the pool, and we're going to try to get the kids together and take them somewhere for the summer. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, what ages are you looking for to sign up? Well, age, age group, we're getting kids from 12 on up to high school, you know, and, you know, we, we had a whole lot of them in the gym last night practicing, so it's going it to be a good event. Oh, it's going to be a yeah. lot of fun, yeah. too. What's that number one more time if people uh, want to call for more questions or maybe to register their kid? It's 448-5, 445-8084. Fantastic. Well, yeah. Fred, thank you so much for joining yeah. us today, thank telling you. us all about it. We appreciate it. And thank you. Of course. Right. Mm -hmm.